Hey everybody, Marcos Vegas here with John Molina post fight in his fight with Adrian Broner. John, to me, it seemed like you were kind of off in there, and I was kind of thinking, well, maybe John's waiting for Broner to make a mistake. Maybe he's being patient, or maybe he's not warmed up yet. But overall, what'd you feel about uh, your performance? And did you feel a little flat in there? No, not at, actually quite the opposite. I was in great shape. Had I had someone in there like a Matisse, and I was in this shape that I was in, it would have been. Uh, it would have been a hell of a fight. Uh, it, to me, everyone's saying, well, why didn't you throw punches? Because stylistically, he was very defensive. If I was throwing punches in there, it would have looked like I would, I would have been in there shadow boxing because every time I throw a punch, he was gone. Or he would hold. Or he was gone. And you would... Now, I'm not discrediting him because what he did, what he did his game plan, and it worked. But with that being said, it wasn't a, a low on my output because of the fact that I wasn't in shape or I didn't feel good. I felt amazing. I could go 12 rounds right now. But to go in there with a guy like that, who's going to fight nothing but a defensive fight, of course it's going to look, look the way it looked. You know, Broner stood in there with you in the pocket quite a few times uh, in this fight. Were you surprised by that? Because I was personally surprised. I, I think he wouldn't want to do that uh, against someone like you. And I, I got to go back and watch the fight because he said he's sitting there in the pocket, but it, it, it looked like he was sitting in the pocket, but he was holding one, or every time I came forward, Bird was getting in the way. And two, he was using his elbows really well to keep me out of there. I couldn't let go of my punches. It really, when he say in the pocket, every time I was in, I was being held. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a, a sit and exchange like uh, me and Matisse when we were in there exchange that that wasn't going to happen. And if I did, he, he was already far enough away to get away. You know, you did land a, a few times flush on him, like you were mentioning. He was very elusive in the fight. But me, I'm just kind of curious to see how's his power because a lot is said about the power of the guys he faces. But Broner, uh, how does power feel in there? Uh, I mean, he wasn't the biggest puncher, but I mean, I think it's because he was such a defensive fighter that night. And, and trying to, I think he more slaps his punches and he puts a uh, pot behind it. But it's a punch though that it kind of makes you think like, oh, maybe I should do this or maybe I shouldn't. No, no, no. The only shot that ever hurts somebody is the one you don't see. And given that he has good hand speed, that's why you got to be not cautious, but you got to make sure you don't try to set you up. Like that uppercut he hit uh, the last guy he fought with oh, Taylor. Yeah, it's kind of like a dragon punch from Street Fighter. <laughs> he, hit me with his, he hit me with the same uppercut, but obviously I was there. But at the same time, again, he's such a defensive fighter, it made it look like it was a goose egg when we were in there. I know this fight, you haven't really had a chance to look at it, but now thinking, what do you feel you could have done differently to get a different result? Well, we got to work more on, on, on being able to break through his defensive style. He has a really good defensive style, and he said it himself. He's not going to be out there to fight with his heart anymore, so he's going to fight defensively. And that's his opinion. That, that, that's, if that's what he wants to do, that's what he's going to do because he's good at it. But uh, with that being said, no, the um, only thing I can do is work on getting through that defensive style. John, thank you very much. Certainly appreciate it, man. Good seeing you. John Molina fought Adrian Broner here tonight on NBC.